In today's video, we're going to talk about how to use zone defense to make your defense more effective in Madden NFL 16. Guys, uh, my name is Cody Ballard. I make Madden 16 videos to help you get better at the game. Uh, and not because I think I'm better than you, but just because I think I practice a lot. I think I have something to share that may be able to allow you and maybe, excuse me, you may be able to use it uh, to get better at the game. All right, so in the last video, we talked about uh, pressure. We talked about man pressure. In the previous video before that, we talked about zone pressure. And what this is going to lead your opponent to do is he's going to have to start blocking guys to pick up the pressure. He's going to have to start using blue routes, blocking release patterns, using blitz, bleeder, bleeder, using blitz beaters, and, and taking advantage of quick passes and things like that. This now allows us to play uh, what I like to call a Tampa 2 coverage. What Tampa 2 coverage is, is it's a zone defense that's designed to give your opponent those underneath quick throws, and, and then, but, you're all, but you're, what you're going to do is you're going to cloud cover the middle of the field. Okay, and so what we're using is the nickel 245 double A gap. This is a zone coverage defense that complements your blitz. So we, we traditionally we come out in this nickel overload three, uh, and one of the coverages audibles that we have at our disposal uh, is this cover two. Um, and, and what I really love about the cover two is the way that the middle plays, the way that the linebackers play the middle of the field. The unfortunate thing about the cover two is the fact that your user player isn't a deep third, and so we typically stay away from it, actually. So what I'm going to use is the cover three. The cover three show two, in my opinion, is much better um, for what we're going to try to do here today. And so again, remember we bring this guy down, and we're going to bring Thomas down. And here's the here's the weaknesses. The vulnerabilities of the cover three uh, are very clear. Um, you know, the vulnerability is this kind of deep. This section right here, where I'm going to pull KJ right. This kind of area uh, is really your vulnerability. So what we like to do is take these guys on the end. We like to drop them into deep blue zones to kind of cover that out. And so we've created a cover five, and then I'm going to take Thomas and put him into a hook zone. You see that now we're going to cloud this this underneath of the field with five zones underneath and five zone and, and also four zones deep. This is going to be a tough zone coverage to face, and it's going to look just like our man blitz or excuse me our zone blitz and man blitz. Everything looks the same, but now we're playing coverage defense and we may force a bad throw into traffic. Uh, normally you're going to get interceptions, especially if I wasn't trying to play, you know play both sides. So we'll show you this setup again. The whole idea behind the zone coverage is to have a max coverage defense that takes zone principles, it uses zone principles. That you, you know, and what we're really going to look to do is create cover fours or cover threes. Um, you know, not use stock cover threes, but we're going to make adjustments off of those to take away popular routes like post routes, deep end routes, slant routes, things like that to cloud the middle of the field and try to force a turnover off of a blitzing look. Then they're going to think they're going to get pressure, and we're going to have flat protection, and we're also going to have middle protection. So, like I said, what I like to do is I like to take um, KJ Wright and Bruce Irvin and place them in deep blue zones. Crash my line out. The reason I crash my line out is because it's going to get wider blitz angles and it's going to contain those mobile quarterbacks. And then I like to take Thomas and put him into a hook zone. This is going to cl really cloud the middle of the field uh, and force them to, you know, to really kind of wait over the pocket, have to wait for something to come up, and, and then a coverage sack is what we're really looking to get. So that is our zone. It's These are a little simpler to do uh, because, you know, they, they are similar. But this is the, the, but I commit a whole video to this because I think it is so essential to be using coverage defenses in Madden. I really, truly believe that coverage defenses are the most underestimated thing that you can do today to make your defense more effective. The whole principle that you have to blitz every play to be good at this year is not true. It's a myth and do not believe it for one second. Coverage defense is a philosophy in how to play defense, something that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers did to win a Super Bowl.